Hey guys, for you don't know, um, I own my own knife business. It's like my side gig job on top of my normal day job. And so I deal with knives all the time and people are always coming up to me asking me what my EDC or what my everyday carry is that I typically carry. Um, I love case and this is what I carry. As you can see, it's really beat up. It's really has some pain. It's kind of old, a couple years old. This is the Case Hammerhead. They also have one that's similar. It's called the the Case Mako. The design on the on the blade is a little bit different between the two of them. But they have different ones that are the same style. Just the, the you know the handle might be a little bit different. They have one that's for um, a couple different different handle materials. They got some stag ones. They have some other things like that. But this is the one I like. It's plain. It's simple. It's brass. It's very strong. And I'm a big fan of it. It's yes, I know it is a lot like the Buck 110. I just prefer Case over Buck as a company, just because Case is still 100% American made. When not everything that Buck does is American made, they do outsource some other cheaper quality knives. But this isn't the best knife either. I mean, it's it does have some side to side play on it. All of them do. This is my second to third one, or the Buck does not have that issue. But, like I said, I still prefer Case, even though this one isn't as good as the Buck 110. But, there you go. Uh, if you guys would like me to review any other knives or get anything in, just let me know. Um, I will be getting one of these in the giveaway. I'm not giving away this one, because I just like this one way too much. And this knife, it's probably around a, a $60 knife, 50 or 60 for a good price. You, you might see more for 70 or 80 like, like flea markets or stores and things like that. But it's still a great little knife.